hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing this piece of mine my name is amanda okolo and i'm a youtuber here in lagos nigeria so yes i know why you're here from the title of the video you can see that i got my apartment in lagos island under 48 hours and guys that was not a click bit so in this video i'm going to tell you guys how i did all of that how i navigated the whole house hunting issues and got my apartment in 48 hours so if this sounds like something you're interested in listening to or watching just sit back relax and enjoy this video as some of you already know those of you that have been watching my videos i moved to lagos island in september september last year which is like september 2022 right and i didn't go through the process of house hunting i didn't go through the process of contacting agents i didn't go through the process of going to view different apartments and i didn't also even go through the process of paying caution fee paying what else you guys pay for agency legal and all of that and in this video like i said i'm going to tell you guys how i did all of that so First of all, if you're somebody that you're looking for a place to move in, in almost immediately, then I don't think this video is for you, except if you get very lucky. But you can still just relax and listen to what I have to say. So now, how did I get my apartment? So I was, as a last year, as a last year January, I was already serving in Lagos, but I was serving on the mainland. I was serving, they gave me accommodation and that was where I was staying at. So sometime in February, if that's February of last year, I knew that after my service, I was, I was going to still stay back in Lagos. I went to stay back in Lagos and my service was going to end in November. So as at February, I knew that, oh, I wanted to stay back in Lagos. I didn't want to go back to or move out of Lagos or go to any other place after service. So if you know me very well, you know that I'm somebody that if I have something to do, even if it's six months in six months time five months time or even a year time it is always here and i always actively make plans towards it because i'm not somebody that likes to rush into doing things so as i last year february as i was saying i already knew that oh, i was going to stay back in lagos so what did i do i knew that or I've rather I've watched a lot of videos about how something in lagos about the whole stress of getting a place about paying all this ridiculous amounts for leg and um, for agency legal caution and all of that and i was just thinking to myself how i was going to save costs because like i said i just finished nyc and i didn't really have so much money at the time <laughs> right so this is not me saying i have so much money now but <laughs> you get what i mean so i was looking for every possible means or way to cut down on costs so what did i do i started telling people that oh I want to stay back in Lagos after my service and I want to stay on the island, right? Not because of anything else other than the fact that, oh, I wanted more opportunities for myself, right? So I started telling people, like I told a lot of people and in my head, I'm like, okay, I knew that or I know that a lot of people are jackparent, right? I know that a lot of people are leaving the country. I know that a lot of people will also be leaving the country in September. Like I told you guys, my... NYC was supposed to end in November, like my POP was scheduled for November. So I figured that um, a lot of people are leaving the country, like I said, and September was is like a month where a lot of people actually leave the country, like a whole lot of people because of schooling and all of that, because September begins like a new session. So what did I do? I started looking around my circle and thinking about people that I know are uh, planning to chakra. I started telling people, oh, do you have, do you have, do you, I started asking people, oh, do you know somebody that is, that is currently staying in Lagos Island or anywhere literally that's in Lagos that wants to travel out, that wants to move out of their place, that wants to get a new place. So my search started in February, right? I started telling people in February, like it just, it was just a conversation that I actively always just bring up when I meet somebody or when I'm talking to my friend, I'm like, okay, I want to stay back in Lagos after NYC and I don't want, I want to like narrow my way. I don't want to pay all those 
plenty, plenty fees that people pay for getting a place. I want to <laughs> I want to find my way around it, right? So if you know anybody that's currently staying somewhere and that is planning to move out or that is planning to jack bar and all of that, please let me know. So it wasn't so long before I found somebody that's okay, she she got engaged and she was gonna be getting married and moving to her husband's house. Or at the time she was living in she was living on the island, right? So at the time she had her own place on the island, or she was already engaged and already she knew you know when somebody's engaged, when you get married, definitely you move to your husband's house. So I found somebody that was engaged. So I got her contact, I stayed, she's actually my sister's friend. I got her contact and <laughs> the funny part is that I knew the day she got engaged, right? But let's scratch that. So I got her contact and I told her, oh, I told her about my plans that, oh, um, congratulations on your engagement. <laughs> um, please, is there anybody that will be filling up, filling up on your space when you move out? And she was really happy because it was going to save her a lot of stress because I literally bought some of the things that are in this apartment from her. You know, when somebody is engaged and going to their husband's house, there are some things that definitely they will not be going with, like bed stand, all these things. They are, what are they using to go and do, right? So she was very, very, very happy. She was very excited. That's how people, when somebody is planning to move out, that's how excited they, that's how excited they will be when they find somebody that is going to come and replace them. Imagine that you are planning to travel abroad in September and, okay, maybe your rent is not even going to be expiring in December. If you find somebody that is going to replace you, that person is going to pay you what you spend. It's going to pay you like for september october november december like you're going to calculate it and the person is going to pay like it should save you a lot of stress the person will end up most times buying most of the things in your apartment from you so yeah so i started talking to her like i was far 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 in somewhere on the mainland and she was on the island right so after talking to her she told me prices of her bed stand she gave me price of her ac bed stand and most of the things that I bought from her and then we fixed an appointment for a saturday and i just came look around and the good part about this is that if you're getting your apartment from somebody that has stayed there the person will tell you okay well, this is how the place is the person will tell you the truth of what is actually going on in the place if the, if the place is not a good place the person will tell you oh more please run this place is not good. but if there's the, the days to have if they still have light issues the person will tell you because the person has no reason to not tell you because i mean she's not the owner or he's not the owner of the apartment right so if you find somebody that's moving out the person will actually tell you genuinely the problem that that apartment has right so that you decide on your own if you want to run away or if you want to take it so like i said we fixed an appointment for one of the saturdays and i came around i looked at the place i liked it i made my payments and when she got married she moved out but before she even got married, herself, in fact, she even moved out before the, the, the date we agreed that she was going to move out. She moved out like three weeks before the date, so the place was even empty for like three weeks. Then, sometime before my POP, I packed my loot and I moved into my place. And I've been staying here since September last year, and this is February, like I told you. That's like how many months? September, October, November, December, January, February. That's about six months already. Wow, I've stayed here for six months. Wow. Okay, that's about six months already and I mean I didn't have any issues, I don't have any problems. So I feel like this is an option that people should explore. A lot of people are leaving this country, a lot of people are getting engaged and moving into their husband's house, a lot of people are changing apartments. So if you if you are like me that you're looking for an apartment on a budget, you just need to actively begin to ask around just need to actively begin to ask around so i had a friend one of my friends i was also looking for a place and this was exactly how she got that place too from somebody that was traveling out even though that one selling is behaving along the line but this is an this is an option that a lot of people should key into especially if you're trying to save costs because you realize that um rents all these legal legal is like 10 percent of your rent maybe your rent is 700k legal is like 10 percent that is like 70k you rent 700k, agency is like 10%, that's another 70k. Then you're not talking about caution fee, you're not talking about service, service charge, all these plenty, plenty fees on top of our small heads. Like, if you're like me, you're, you're looking for an apartment on the budget, I think that this is an option you should, you should explore. If you know that, okay, you want to move to Lagos in three months' time, four months' time, begin to tell people, begin to talk the same. Okay, I'm not saying that you should completely scrap out using agents and all that, but 
as you're using agency, just have just have two options. Just pray to God to help you. As you're talking to agents, look for a place for you. Also tell people, okay, do you know anybody that's moving now? Do you know anybody that's changing an apartment? Do you know anybody that's getting married and moving to their husband's house? Do you know? You will never know. So I'm a very positive person and I believe that you should put in effort to always come back in your favor. So yeah, that's how I got my apartment. I think that if you're on a budget, like I said, you should key into this and begin to talk to a few people and you will get very lucky trust me you get very lucky because people are living in this country people are people are jack barring in fact that should be my my next little topic because a lot of people are actually jack barring and they were staying somewhere before they decided to jack barring, right so save yourself the stress and begin to talk to people so i hope that this video helps one or two persons out there i know that this video will not help everybody because some people are not some people are not in my level some people are up there and they have the money to spend on rent but i know that i know for a fact that this particular video will help one or two people out there so if watching this video please 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 click on the like box but click on the like button right now and leave a comment for me let me know that this video was helpful to you and also share the video with your friends or people that you think are currently in that phase of trying to relocate I know that this video was about me trying to like find my apartment on Lagos Island, but trust me, this is applicable to every location, be it mainland, be it island, be it even if it's not even in Lagos, because I mean people are Japanese, they're not just Japanese from Lagos Island, right? So like I said, share this video with your friends or somebody that you know that this video will be helpful to and I'll see you in my next video.